Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use uh, Peck Prep to refine uh, a periodic error correction uh, curve. Okay, let's let's assume that you have uh, a Peck curve already uh, generated and it's active in EQ ASCOM. And what you then do is take a, a log of that star movement with PEC active. Now I've uh, done this and I'm going to load in that log. There you are, log with PEC. You really would expect uh, perhaps a straight line, but there's always going to be some kind of residual error uh, going on uh, due to the uh, non-harmonic components within the mount uh, and also perhaps the periodic correction that we generated, perhaps the, the file we generated wasn't perfect in all areas. And so what I've got here is a trace and it's of low amplitude as you can see. Um, you know it's, it's less than an arc second but it's, it's still definitely there and when we look at it we can see that there, there is a significant period in here associated with the worm, the worm period of, of, of my particular mount is, is 479 seconds. This is close enough, so it's telling me that, that there is still some worm uh, movement going on that isn't being corrected for. So what we do is, using this data, we then uh, generate a new correction curve. And effectively, this is going to be a correction to the correction. Uh, so if I save that as uh, as my original, I'm going to call this Pack 2 What I can then do is using this Peck Curve Arithmetic tab is load in my original load in my original uh, curve then load in the correction curve I've just generated which is PEC2 and then what I can do is I, I can add them together by pressing this button here and what this shows me if I scroll out a bit the original curve is shown in green so that is curve A as it's labelled on here uh, and the red curve here is A plus B so you can see that it's made slight adjustments uh, to the original curve. And then I can save that as a new curve. Well, I could save over the top of one of the original ones if I wanted to, but I'm going to save it as a new one. And then I could load that into EQ ASCOM and, uh, the same way as, as you would do with an ordinary correction curve. Uh, all you've done is you've said, well, this wasn't quite right, I know how much it wasn't right, and you've you've made extra corrections to, to cater for the, the, the remaining error that was present. Okay, um, there are some other things you can do on this particular tab. You can uh, invert a curve. If you think, for some reason, the direction uh, was was the wrong way around, your curve is, is sort of 100, um, you can apply phase shifts, if you can use this technique, if you've uh, lost synchronization of your pet curve um, to phase shift it, you can also do this within the EQ ASCOM driver. Um, but the main purpose of, of, of this particular tab was to provide a slight adjustment of your um, pet curve by refining it by another curve. Okay, that uh, concludes this. Uh, video.